one of my favorites today. Do you love ribs? Well, we have got some Manitoba pork back ribs, and we are gonna do a spice rubbed back ribs with an apple cider mock today. So the membrane's already removed, we have our ribs all ready to go, and our ingredients, don't you love this one? It's already pre-measured, you don't have to do any of that stuff. Well, it's pretty simple to get the rub together. We'll put it all together. Now we're gonna use coarse salt. The reason we use the coarse salt is because it helps to rough up the skin a little bit, which helps the rub to penetrate, which means more flavor for you. So that's why we go with a coarse salt as opposed to an ordinary table salt. We also have here some paprika, which we'll throw in there as well. We have got your oregano and black pepper. We have garlic powder and we also have Ooh, so distinctive, chili powder. So we put it all together and we mix it all up and you got yourself a rub. It's that simple, that's all you have to do. And then this is a little more than we need. We'll pour it on top and you just wanna rub it in. Now, if you're making it and you plan on cooking it sort of within the hour, you can let it sit for about an hour, but any longer than that and you really do need to refrigerate before you prepare to cook. So you just want to rub it right on in there. I guess that's why we call it a rub. Just keep going. And then you want to flip it over and do the other side as well. And you're on your way to some tasty Manitoba pork. Alrighty, the ribs are all rubbed and ready to go. Let's head out and find Mike Allen at the grill. And now through the magic of TV, it's me, Mike Allen, here with Caroline Hunter. And we are cooking with Manitoba <laughs> pork. We're doing some great ribs. I've been out here for about 90 minutes. And look at these beauties. Look at these ribs. They've been cooking on indirect heat, which means the non-lit side of the grill for amateurs like me. And they look scrumptious. Now we're ready to mop. We've had a special mop made just for these ribs, and they have five specific ingredients, top secret, that you're gonna find out now because Caroline is gonna tell us. It is the apple cider mop, and so in there, we have got some uh, apple cider vinegar, apple juice, we have Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, and mustard, all mixed together. Look at those babies, let's get that awesome. mop on there. Let's Ooh, it start smells mopping. so good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. This is me mopping, and I, you wanna mm. slather on lots of mop. You don't wanna be shy with the mop. So I'm slathering on, slather, slather. Never be slather. shy with the mop. Here we good go. Advice. You probably want to do the back one first and work your way forward. Oh, does that ever smell good? You can hear do the this sizzling. In reverse. Mmm. 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 Delicious. Oh, let me slather just a wee bit more. Slather away. Feel free. Oh. Fill your boots. Sloppy ribs. These are the best. Okay, let me put a little bit more right here, and there we go. Mm. Now, don't these look scrumptious? Now what do we do, Caroline? I think we get ready to eat. Watch this. Look at these ribs. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, they are so juicy and tender. So they've been on the grill for about 90 minutes, and it's time to take them off. These are our spice rubbed back ribs with apple cider mop. They look good. They look ready to eat. They are juicy, fall off the bone, tender Manitoba pork goodness. And we get to sample them. How simple was that? Look at this. So nice. easy. Look how they just come apart like that. Yeah, I mean, if you, oh, I wish you could smell it. It smells they just divine. I will do this mop in my home very soon. You Rest ready? Piece. Try Ooh. it. Sample my rib goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. For this and other great recipes, do yourself a favor. Check out manitobapork.com.